In this media, you are going to learn about Arctic sea routes and winterization of vessels. Ship owners are always on a competitive shipping market. They are attracted by the promise of shorter sea routes across the north resulting in fuel savings and reduced piracy risk. There are four different Arctic shipping sea routes or potential transit possibilities. Northern Sea Route, NSR. The NSR extends over the Russian Arctic, connecting the Asian and Northern European markets. NSR is the first route to become ice-free in the summer. Maritime traffic has begun to develop along the NSR after the North Sea Route Administration, NSRA, was created in 2012. Northwest Passage, NWP the NWP is a complex of channels which go through the Canadian archipelago. Some trial transits of cruise operations and dry bulk cargo have been successfully done through NWP to till date, but it is estimated that it is likely to become usable on a routine basis by 2020 to 2025. Arctic Bridge The Arctic Bridge Sea Route is a potential one. It links the port of Churchill, situated in northern Manitoba, Canada, with western parts of Russian and also Scandinavia. The port of Churchill has no ice in the summer months. It is served by a rail line reaching out to the Canadian National Railway System. Transpolar Sea Route The Transpolar Sea Route extends straight across the Arctic Ocean, linking the Bering Strait with the North Atlantic. This route is, however, remaining hypothetical as it essentially requires an ice-free Arctic Ocean. This route is, however, remaining hypothetical as it essentially requires an ice-free Arctic Ocean. Winterization of vessels. The main objective of winterization is to ensure that a vessel is capable and is prepared to operate well in cold climates. Before transiting the Northern Sea Route, NSR, shipping companies should address the ship's capability to work in the expected ice and low temperature environment. Winterization notations issued by the classification societies and the ice class notations are not the same. Winterization notations refer to the ship's capability to work in a low temperature environment. Ice class notations refer to the ship's capability to withstand navigation through ice. Following are the winterization measures suggested even when the vessel will only be used for a single transit of the NSR. Assurance of the best possible operability of ship systems and machinery in the expected low temperatures. Providing the supplies and equipment that have capability for usage in the expected low temperatures. Execution of procedures for safe operation and welfare of the ship personnel in the expected low temperatures. Thus, you have learned about Arctic sea routes and winterization of vessels.